welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be creating two words. Ready? Peacock puzzled. A puzzled peacock. We're going to be creating a puzzled peacock today. It looks like this. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to be creating a puzzled peacock today. Yeah, it's just puzzled. And it's a peacock, right? No preconceived ideas, we're just gonna start drawing and see what happens. So grab some you draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. All right, we're gonna do a puzzled peacock. So we're gonna grab something to draw with, and we're gonna begin with a circle for peacock's eye. In that circle, we're gonna do one big circle and one small circle. And then you can go ahead and color in the dark of the eye, leaving just those circles nice and white. And of course, anytime I go too fast in the video, just hit pause and hit play when you're ready to continue. Around that eye, add some curving lines, thinner. Okay, in front of the eye, we're gonna draw a nice curving line. And then we're gonna curve it over and back in to create a curving triangle and also the top half of the beak. And then we'll draw the bottom half and add a nostril. Okay, from the top of the beak, we're gonna go up and over, around the eye, then down. And make a big curve at the bottom, like a bowling pin, or like a big, kind of like a number eight. It's kind of, a number eight shape or an hourglass. Yeah. On either side of the neck, we're drawing a line that curves up, over, and attaches to the body. And then we'll draw some big zigzags under the neck. So cute, right? Okay, below, we're gonna draw some zigzag lines out for the toesies. Posies. Now on the top of the head, we're gonna do one, two, three rectangles, and then draw a circle on the top. Now this is gonna be a puzzled peacock, so we're gonna draw some question marks. So we're gonna do normal question marks first. And then you can go ahead and draw a line around the outside and connect it to thicken it up and make it kind of bubble or boxy. And then finally, we just gonna add some tail feathers. So we're gonna draw some big curving lines. Skip over any oops, body details or any question marks. I just skip over and then I continue drawing. So let's skip. Here I'm going to have just a couple peeking out. Feathers. I'm going to add a circle on the top of each feather, and then I'm ready to go ahead and color it in. So once you're done, you can go ahead and color in your peacock with your choice of peacock colors. And your choice of art making mediums as well, don't forget. Make your art the way that makes you happy.
And once you're done, your lovely puzzled peacock is done. <laughs>